<laughs> oh my god. I am uh, sitting here waking up for my job today. One of uh, three jobs that I actually hold. Um, reading some things that have been posted about myself on a uh, Salem News article uh, by, I believe it's Heidi Howland, who ran the Against uh, Question 3 campaign. Looks like her. She's posting as H. Heilman, so I, I'm pretty sure that's her, and she's calling out and arguing with Steve Epstein. Um, she posted my videos and uh, posted about myself and called myself an addict. Um, it's pretty insane if you watch all my videos and, and what I talk about, that she's calling me an addict. Um, knowing that I'm a former wrestler and, you know, addicted to cannabis? Are you kidding me? No. I am not addicted to cannabis. Most days I don't even use cannabis. Uh, just because I, I go on a rant against her during the Question 3 campaign. Uh, for some effect, you know, to show some passion. Because, you know, we were running a campaign and her side was attacking us. And, and someone needed to speak up. And I did speak up. And I think uh, it worked. We won the campaign. Um, my YouTube, which, you know, is another goal of ours, obviously, is get our voice out. Our YouTube was at like 2,200 subscribers at that point during the campaign um, which was you know maybe back in September September October November and now we're over 3300 we picked up like a thousand subscribers over the last like four or five months during and since that campaign and a lot of that was due to her craziness you know the craziness that she put out to the world helped us because we just reflected it back and we had fun with it and we we did our rants um, and now she's basically, she's calling me an addict. Um, she's also saying some crazy things too about, um, the pro, this is the funniest thing because I know most of the people in the pro pot lobby and, uh, she's completely wrong. Like, I mean, she's talking to Steven Epstein, number one, who, who owns his own business. He's a lawyer by trade. He's a criminal defense attorney. He works for a living. Um, she says the pro pot lobby consists of people who self-report that they've never been able to hold a job, but now that Medipot is legalized, they're making income by selling a product they've spent years illegally growing, using, and are addicted to. Go figure. That's interesting because, I don't know, most people I know aren't growing, selling marijuana. They're just not. Um, you know, I know a few people that do, obviously, but... For the most part, most of the people, especially in the in the what I refer to as the medical marijuana movement or the marijuana legalization movement, most of those people do have jobs. I have three jobs. I don't grow pot. I don't sell pot. Um, so you know, she's attacking me and she's labeling me a certain way. She she also said some crazy things about uh, my videos that it looks like you know she she made me out to look like a paranoid schizophrenic, which was kind of interesting. I wonder if she's a doctor. If she's, uh, I mean, she she trying to uh, diagnose me over the internet based on some videos that I did. I mean, please, that's ridiculous. Without asking me any questions, without knowing my medical history, without you know knowing anything about me, I'm I'm very stable. Um, you know, and and she basically says that I'm filming in my basement. Well, in that video, I was actually filming in my office area, which is kind of a mess, I'll admit. But. Uh, you know, what What difference does that, does that make? I was in my condo, you know, that I share with my wife, you know? I mean, wh what's the issue with that? Um, and she, you know, basically makes it seem like I just have a YouTube channel, but she's attacking me. She's the campaign against medical marijuana in Massachusetts. She was the, the number one spokesperson, and she's attacking me. Why is she attacking me? Because I have 3,300 subscribers on YouTube. Because we're just about to hit a million views. Because we have the number one political activism show on the biggest underground independent radio station in Boston that's on the internet. I mean, there's a lot of internet radio now. People are making money on the internet, on their shows. Uh, we're not quite there. We're 100% we're in independent. We have sponsors. We are doing very well. Our growth is really phenomenal. I can't believe how much we've grown. Um, both as, you know, Heather and I working together and the guests that we get, but as well as the audience, too. And, uh, you know, the station 
is blasting off. I mean, there's 55 plus shows a week, live shows at Unregular Radio. You're not going to find any other station or studio in Boston with the same setup, with professionalism that goes on at Unregular Radio. And we're one of the flagship number one shows over there, especially related to politics and activism. Um, you know, community, we are that show at Unregular Radio, and Unregular Radio is that station. You're seeing it advertised all over the Phoenix. We're, we're in that, we're, 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 we're getting press every single week, our station, whether it's in Boston or all over the country, all over the world. We, we're, we're, we're on the map. People know who we are. Um, and that's why she's attacking me. And uh, I just, I think it's hilarious. My friend pointed it out, and he thought it was awesome too. And he's got a job, and he's not even in the marijuana reform movement, really. He's uh, a professional. He's into you know music and radio, and he saw it, and he thought it was funny, and he follows politics as well. And uh, you know, just the average person, everybody loves it. They think it's great. Heidi Hellman, thank you for promoting me. My friends, my supporters are thanking you. We want to thank Heidi today. We want to thank Heidi for being so over the top. She wants to talk about uh, schizophrenia and illness. <laughs> Dude, look at your rant. Your rant on these your your, your comments. You look like uh, man. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna write. 10 paragraphs in response to you on a comment on the Salem Evening News. I'm just going to put out a video. And this is the video, and this is my response. And uh, I hope you had a good Christmas and a happy New, new Year, Heidi Hellman. Um, I think you got to like me a little bit, Heidi, because you wouldn't be, you wouldn't be focusing so much attention on me. And I, I, I like you, too. I just uh, think that you need to ease up, Heidi. I really do. I think you need to admit that uh, you lost and that, People understand about cannabis. Cannabis is not what you say it is, man. And you have to, you have to appreciate that. You have to admit that, for some reason, people think differently about cannabis compared to other drugs. There's a reason for that. Why won't you see that? There is a reason for that. I'm, I'm a as straight up person as you can come. I don't like alcohol. I don't like tobacco. I don't like prescription pills. I don't like hard drugs. Most people I know are like this. We, we understand. And, and, and Heidi, I agree with you about the children. Children shouldn't have cannabis. Heidi, I agree that uh, some people do have issues with cannabis and we should work that out and come up with a much saner approach. Why don't we find common ground, Heidi? And, and this is my direct message to you. Why don't you come on my show and act like you actually want to hear what we're, we're saying? Because I will, I will talk to you civilly. I, I would like to find common ground and work with you on things that you actually actually you know have heart for that you care about but let's let's bring it to a sane level so we're not penalizing people like myself people who are out here who are using this for medical reasons for pain for everyday common pain because we don't want to be addicted to pills